Part two of the Bluetooth Basics series will show you how to update your Bluetooth radio driver in power management settings. These important steps will ensure your computer is configured with the proper drivers and settings to ensure the foundation for a good Bluetooth experience. The following steps are only relevant for PC computers. For Mac specific information, proceed to video three. First, you'll want to make sure your Bluetooth radio driver is up to date. Even new computers may not have the most up-to-date drivers installed. It is necessary to go straight to your computer manufacturer's support site to obtain these drivers or information because the computer itself will not identify these updates. Do not rely on Windows Update or Update Driver to point you to the latest driver information. Only the manufacturer's support sites will provide information and drivers for your particular make and model computer. Next. Let's make sure your Bluetooth drivers are functioning properly. To do this, check the Device Manager settings and Control Panel. You should see the following under Bluetooth Radios. If you are using a Bluetooth dongle, you should see Generic Bluetooth Radio. Or, if your OEM computer has integrated Bluetooth, you will see the OEM Bluetooth Radio driver in the Device Manager. Do not use a Bluetooth dongle if your computer already has native Bluetooth support as a computer will only support a single Bluetooth radio. Bluetooth is not like traditional 2.4 GHz wireless technology that required a dongle for every device, or a one-to-one -one relationship. Bluetooth is a one-to-many technology, where a single Bluetooth radio can support many devices. If you updated your Bluetooth radio drivers, make sure you reboot your computer after the update process. Once you have determined that your Bluetooth radio drivers are up to date, and functioning properly, you may proceed to the configuration validation. Bluetooth device disconnects are usually caused by a PC's power management settings. These power management settings are not your computer's power profile settings, they are device specific settings that are accessible through Device Manager. These settings affect the device's ability to stay connected or reconnect to your computer. First, under your Bluetooth radio power management settings, make sure allow this computer to turn off this device to save power is not checked on the Bluetooth radio. This will be the dongle or OEM radio. Next, under the keyboard devices or mice and other pointing devices, depending on your specific Bluetooth device, make sure that allow this device to wake the computer is checked. This setting can cause your wireless device to intermittently disconnect and not have the ability to reconnect without the device power on off or a system reboot. You may see more than one keyboard listed if your system has another keyboard or mouse connected. Make sure you check all the devices under each section. These resolutions should correct any power management issues your computer may be experiencing. Issues that may prevent your Bluetooth devices from reconnecting to your computer during or after sleep mode. If turning your Bluetooth device off and back on reconnects your device, then power management settings are the cause. Tune in to part 3 of the Bluetooth Basics series to learn how to troubleshoot Bluetooth issues on a Mac. Thank you for watching.